couple of things. Um, just found a gray hair in my brush. You see that? <laughs> I'll talk about brushes for a minute. <clears throat> now, this is not a Denman. I never purchased a Denman. This is the goodie version. Um, and from what I could tell, it worked just fine. Um, I think though it would have been nice if the teeth were a little further apart, but from what I could tell, it, it worked just fine. Um, but when I was away, my sister and her children, they have anywhere from 3A to, to 4A hair. Uh, the mother is a 3A, 3B, and then um, the youngest probably has a mixture of all of the above. But anyway, um, she uses petal brushes on them. So even though I brought my brush with me, um, I decided to try it. And what I realized was I needed to upgrade. Um, my hair has grown out a lot since I bought this brush. And um, now I realize why it was taking me so long. Um, now, I wish it didn't have these nubs. Um, I used to remember brushes like this used to be like that, but anyway and it was fine I just had to be careful and, and change my technique and using it a little bit just took my time till I got used to it but it worked just fine <laughs> um, second thing I went ahead and got yep got some more of this even though I still have a little more than a half container of the old version, this is the uh, new and improved version. <laughs> um, I decided to go ahead and get it and, and just see if I could tell a difference while I still had some of the other ones. So I'm not freaking out not having anything. I want to know now if I need to find... <sighs> <laughs> if I need to find a replacement for this. Ooh, there's shea butter in here. I didn't know that. <laughs> the soy um, and the oat protein is last in, in the in the new version. So, you know, I guess the um, economy it has affected our products as well, you know. I, I guess it was bound to happen. You know, they start using the um, more of the economical ingredients. Um, you know, 
versus the good stuff, I guess. But anyway, um, I am encouraged though because the number two ingredient is glycerin and my hair loves glycerin. So, uh, but the question comes in is in uh, ingredient number three, which is mineral oil. And um, not going to let that scare me yet. I'm just going to use it and when I do, I'll uh, let you guys know. And last but not least. Okay, now, last but not least, guess what I found? I'm so excited about this, and I swear to God, it's all your fault, <laughs> you know? But, um, I was looking all over the world for this. Oh, one more thing. Um, remember that video I did a while back, um, where I did a survey? for us uh, four types and um, I was talking about um, silicones I think that's what started it and I was trying to get you know some kind of survey to see if our hair type had anything to do with what products our hair would like if there's any correlation like whether or not you had a slick wave pattern or if you got the fuzzy stuff like me that you know no matter how tight you pull it it doesn't ever really wave up or you know, if you had a hang or if your hair stood up. Well, um, I haven't quite, I haven't forgotten about that. I just don't know quite what to do with it yet. But, you know, through this journey, this is one thing that I'm, I'm positive on. Seems to be a group of us that like Hello Hydration, the Suave Coconut, the Aussie Moist. There's that category. And then there is what I'm calling the other, um, seems like products with like glycerin in it, like the can too, organics olive oil. Um, let's see, what else is common? Oh, uh, VO5. Um, cause I like the VO5, but I don't like the suave. But what I'm noticing is as long as I get a conditioner that's heavy in glycerin, it's good. You know, there's variations obviously, but nothing detrimental that happens when I try to use the other stuff. And it has that sterile, mitol, blah, 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 blah thing. I'll put it under there. That seems to be a link. Um, for, so maybe some of us are just uh, sensitive, not to all of them. But that particular type, at least that's the only correlation I can, I can see in them. You know, as some of you said, I do use products with silicones in it, like the methicone seems to be fine. You um, know, trimethicone is actually what's in, um, what's in, what's in this, phenyl trimethicone. Oh, and someone was asking me about... Uh, finding fruit of the earth aloe vera gel now this stuff you're going to use um, by itself if, if you use it um, I wouldn't recommend trying to mix stuff with this now now they're always geared towards sunburn they're rarely or or dry skin maybe um, but they're really gonna say for your hair so never look for that um, you probably don't want any with any kind of menthol stuff unless you just happen to like that smell um, but I would think that might be drying to the hair, so even though it may not have alcohol, the menthol, I would think, could be, could be drying. So, you know, try to, try to pick a clear one, you know, because usually that, the ones with the other stuff in it is like a green color or blue color, and I wouldn't recommend that. It's just my opinion, unless somebody else, you know, knows something different. Okay, peace.